Hey everyone, welcome. Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts. And today we're gonna do a kitchen um, hanging arrangement. We're gonna be using a regular um, kitchen strainer, just a strainer, um, to make this arrangement. So I'm going to turn you down. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd appreciate it if you hit that button and click that bell so that you're notified when I uh, upload another video. Okay, and if you really like my videos, share them with your friends and tell them to come join us for the fun, um, for some home decor and all the cool things. Outside chandeliers and anything we can think of, we're gonna try to make it. So, we take a regular kitchen strainer and I pop this little plastic thing out and I painted it. I used the Espresso color, the Rust-Oleum. Y'all see me use this all the time. This is what I, I love to use because it, it adheres to plastic and metal and all the things. So, let me turn on another little light here. Um, I have made some other ones in the past. But today, and I'll show you one that I've made, but today I'm going to be using this pretty, um, it's a soft lamb's ear is what they call it. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. It's just a, a lamb's ear garland. I like to use the, lamb, the um, garland on these projects. Um, it just makes it easier to attach them to the strainer and some floral wire would help. Um, your other greeneries, if they're on a stem, you're just gonna have a lot of stopping and and it's just gonna be a lot of breaks in it that you'd have to try to cover up. So, let's see. Just some tools here to work with. But this lamb's ear is really um, a very elegant greenery to me. And what I'm doing here, I'm just taking it. Let me get up here on this little hoop. Trying to keep it around on top and then Tied around here on back. Got the wire, and then I'm gonna fold the wire all the way back up under there, so that when you hang it on your your wall, it doesn't scratch your wall. It's it's all the way back into here, so it's not gonna affect your wall if you do it right. Okay, and then I'm gonna come around here and I'm just trying to keep it on the edge there. Take it and pull it through here. <laughs> you can make these look shabby chic, you can make them look farmhouse you can make them look any way that you like dress them up dress them down we're going to put a tea light candle in it we're going to be using some moss some spanish moss um i'm going to put a hang tag on it I'm just going around trying to get these leaves where I want them. Okay, I'm going to tie it right up here on top. Get it out of my hair, that is. I got it in my hair. I hope y'all are having a beautiful day. It's been another hot, scorching day here in Mississippi. Mississippi. 
and lots of sunshine and lots of heat and humidity. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying the warmer weather. I'm not ready for winter by no means, but I would like for it to be just a little cooler. through with that and I'm just overlapping it a little bit and I'm gonna go right up in here and put my last little wire the sun is shining today but it's supposed to rain I looked at the forecast this morning and I showed my husband he's a carpenter so he's um, building onto a major restaurant in Florence, Mississippi, and they need sunshine, and it's forecasted to rain the next seven or eight days. So you may get a few days off. I just put a little dab of hot glue right there. up all the lights okay so this is what we're looking at so far all right we're going to take a little bit of um spanish moss now we're not we're not through by no means i think i got that a little thick You know, one day I'm gonna get me a taller table or either get this one jacked up on some some blocks. It's just normal height of sitting, not not standing doing crafts. Alright, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here on the edge of this. And if you stick your fingers in hot glue, guess what? It's hot. Don't take a genius to realize that, Rachel. Okay. Now we've got us some Spanish moss all tucked in here. And that's about how much we've got. Okay. Now, a couple of things is I want to do a a sloppy bow. <laughs> I guess that's what you call it. Well, I don't have a whole lot of ribbon to do that with, do I? I have to make it a little bit shorter than what I anticipated. But that'll be okay, too. Okay. All right, what I mean by sloppy bow is just not gonna be everything perfect, everything. I've just got a piece of, um, I think that may be a piece of sheet or either a piece of um, cheesecloth that I've used. I've got a scrap of. All right. I 
because we're just adding anything and everything basically what we're doing I just got a bunch of neutral um, ribbons I love these little um, this one actually came from the Dollar Tree it's just like a little crocheted um, ribbon I love neutrals and I love um, all this frilly little crocheted ribbon the girl that I work with today brought me some um, more coffee cans so I got to get busy working on coffee cans She's bringing me quite a few. So we're going to have to do something with them. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me get a... Something. There's me a pipe cleaner, a short one. Y'all, I keep all my little scrap pipe cleaners, Chanel stems, whatever you want to call them. big so I'm kind of bringing down my loop there all right think about it. we can add some kind of little bling to it I was gonna cut that but why I was gonna glue it but I think since I got the Chanel stem on I'm just gonna use it to tie up here make it easier to attach trim that a little bit then we're just going to fold that down up under there we can add a little touch of hot glue And it should stay. Okay, let's check out these ribbons. Kind of get them going in somewhat of a, a decent way here. We got all kind of different lengths going on. Stick your finger into it. I got this little burlap um, bow here. Not bow, it's a flower. I'm going to put up here on the top. This will be real cute in a, a shabby French country kitchen. Okay, like that. Now, let's see. I got everything going everywhere, y'all. All right, before I came on, I grunged up a little tea light. It's almost dry. I used Mod Podge and Cinnamon. And see how cute that's looking. Let me hold it when I turn it, flip it up that way. Isn't that cute? We're not done yet. 
Okay, we got to let me see, I'm gonna need to sit down to write. So let's see. Um, We want to write, um, let's try to write country. Um, kitchen, how about that? It's probably backwards for y'all. It is, but it says country kitchen. Um, country kitchen. I grunged up a, a gold bell too. It's not quite dry. So, let's see. Where we're going to put this little thing here. You could actually glue it in or you can hang it. I kind of like the hanging idea. I got all this glue on my nails and I'm looking around like a a lost puppy dog. Let's see. It's still a little wet, so I'm going to try to be careful. wire on it to hang it while it dried. And I'm going to try to thread this. Um, why don't I just do one layer instead of double it. Feed it through this little bale. I feel like the, the bale just gives it a little bit of rustic because I grunged it up. You can buy the the brown color, the already rusty looking bales if you'd like. I think Hobby Lobby gets some in. Okay. She's got a little bit of wet um, Mod Podge on there. So let's see here. How we're gonna tie this. And y'all we're gonna put our uh, tea light in there. And I don't know with that bow, it may be too much for the to have the bell. I think it is. So let's just do without the bell. I didn't know if I was going to use a, the little flower or not, but I like the, the rustic looking burlap flower in it, so, but if you wasn't going to use that, I would definitely use the, the bell. So we're just going to use our hang tag, and like I said, you can glue it or you can tie it up in here and what I'm going to do on this particular one I'm going to glue it right up here at my stem of my leaf 
and I'm going to get the glue on the, the tag and the the twine ribbon. <laughs> I get to talking and forget what I'm really trying to say. I'm going to leave these little jute twines hanging down. We're going to put our little candle in there. And if it was a little darker, you could see it better. And I don't know that I've got anything dark to put behind it. I don't know if this, putting this behind it would show up better or not. You see the little light flickering in there? So that's what it looks like. And if you tilt it backwards, it's gonna fall out, but it's, it'll lay against the wall, it'll hang. And so let me show you, this is a, a more rustic um, strainer. You see that one's already dry how it looks. This is what this one looks like. So, I did not put the jute twine around the handle of this one. Um, I just thought I'd go for a different look. You can, you can even put little pearls around it. But that's what the, um, the more country looking, the more primitive country looks like. So let me turn you up and I'll hold them up better so you can see. So this is the one we just made. It just looks so French country, it looks uh, dainty, elegant, feminine. Whereas this one, it's got blessed. It's got the little bell on it. Of course, I didn't put a, a bow. I just tied a little ribbon up there. So that, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what this one looks like. It's more of a primitive strainer. So I hope that y'all like this video. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Hopefully you liked it. Um, but you can choose to put twine on your handle or you don't have to. And when I did this one, I just, at this point, I stopped. I put a loop and glued it in there and kept going on up. At the top, I just glued it at the top. And it stays. So, here's our two different little strainers. I think they're both cute. I like them. So, until next time, I love you all. Get to crafting. And go over on Facebook. If you do crafts, go over on Facebook. Join my group, Rachel's Unique Crafts VIP. And you can pay, uh, post pictures of your crafts that you've done. You can look at um, pictures of crafts that others have done. So, we'll share ideas and make some pretties. So, until next time, I will see y'all later. I love you all, and keep crafting. Bye-bye, y'all.